Right, 21 arrested, 16 still wanted. The chief of police says this operation is just the beginning of a long, hot summer for accused drug dealers. The chief says his officers got complaints from citizens and his undercover officers hit the streets running. Take a look. The police chief just held a press conference a short while ago. The suspects accused of selling cocaine, heroin, pot and pills, most often within 1,000 feet of a church, school or daycare. Just two weeks ago, police say two of the suspected drug dealers were involved in a shootout in broad daylight on Ridgewood Avenue, first endangering the public by allegedly selling drugs and then by shooting wildly on the streets. But the chief says his officers can only do so much. He's in flame. The suspects are getting bond and in many cases, low bond. The warrant for Roger Butts, for example, previously convicted of attempted murder, would allow a bond of $10,000. But the chief says a judge set it at just $1,500. Listen. Not only do we go out and my officers risk their lives, but then some judge decides that $1,500 bond or $150 is acceptable to turn one of these animals loose on the street to keep pushing their poison down the throat of our community. Now, undercover officers have audio and video recordings of the drug buys, and the chief is hoping the state attorney's office can throw some weight around during upcoming prosecution. He says some of the suspects bragged about doing illegal business. The chief says citizens are endangered by drug dealers and that they get complaints every day on a tip line. They are putting the hammer down and are still on the streets even as we speak. We're live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News.